Hi Bob, I didn't expect to see you here. You know, I'm uh, heading northwest over here. Want to walk along with me? Sure. It's been a busy week. I need to get away from the village and relax. You know, it's the same for me. I'm tired of hearing about the do-nothing scoundrels in Washington. You know, I, I need to get some nature time. Sure is a beautiful day. Let's walk over to the field. Okay. That's a nice canteen you have. I've seen jugs like this before. Did you get this in Mexico? I sure did. Yeah. Here, let me pour you some water. Just sit down. Sit down. Put your, put your cup. Have you tried dry roasted goobers before? No, I haven't. They are a new invention. No, I usually eat boiled goobers. Yeah, I first saw these at a circus a couple of years ago. Sit by the roadside on a summer day with my messmates and passing time away Lying in the shadows underneath the trees Goodness how delicious Eating goober peas Peas, 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 peas Eating goober peas Goodness how delicious Eating goober peas When a horseman passes The soldiers have a role to fly You know, there's a farmhouse over there. Why don't we go see if we can spend the night? That's a good idea. Okay, use that stick. See if we can knock it down. You know, this will really make excellent fire starter. Oops, Oops. there it is. Yeah, <laughs> now, this is good fire starter. I guess, let's knock some more down. Can you knock some more down? There's that one right up there. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, Oop, there it is. <laughs> okay. Today, ma'am, you sure have a pretty place. I'm Ken. I'm Bob. Uh, we're from the city and decided to get away from the hustle and bustle for a few days. Do you mind if we uh, camp at your uh, place tonight? That'd be all right. I'm, I'm glad you like this place. My husband's in the house. If I were you, I'd camp by the spring over there. And uh, I've got collards in the garden you can pick if you want some. Probably some eggs in the hen house. There's firewood that you're free to use, and I have a kettle and a shovel in the shed, and you may use that. Thank you, ma'am. We're, we're mighty obliged. Is 25 cents enough? Yes. You know, this is a good spot to set up camp. I can uh, hang the shelter off of this tree. Right across here.
it's not an easy thing to write in camp or on the march, but if it costs you an effort, you will prize it all the more. I beg of you to persevere, and if you fail, to try, try again. Anything written at the time is far better than no record at all. Uh, write what you can and let it stand with all its blots, errors, and nonsense. If you live another five years, nothing will interest you more than this diary with all its defects. Write facts such as what you saw, heard, did, and failed to do. If you camp in Jacob Sawyer's pasture and he gave you a quart of milk, say so, instead of a good old man showed us a favor. For in after years of memory, it will be much sweeter than the milk was, and you will, it will puzzle you to recall the good old man's name and what the favor was. If you have time, try to draw, never mind if it's a poor picture. Put the ends off like this and then peel the peeling. Any way you can get it. Soup, a cube of bouillon. Instant soup. We'll simmer that for a few minutes. It's meal time. Mm. Bon appetit. Collards and potatoes and onions. You know, there's nothing that tastes like a meal like this after walking all day and, you know, <laughs> getting the firewood, getting everything together. It's exhausting. We have apples baking for dessert. They're right over there in the fire. And uh, as soon as we finished our main meal, we'll have the apples. And I think I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Yeah. Mm. Now, if you're wondering why we're both wearing hats. It was polite to wear hats when out uh, hiking or when you're on the march because you don't want to get your hair and the other guy's food. And that was a, um, a big gripe during the war. I got the best part, the salt pork. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's how you do it. We're eating mud for dessert. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, <laughs> it's not crazy. You want the first bite? No. <laughs> he doesn't want the first bite. Come on. No, you, you take the first bite. This was pioneer dessert. Baked apple. There's the apple. No, you take the first bite. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. I'll take it. Okay, take it with a spoon. Everything with a spoon. Little bit. 
it right there. Good. See, he likes it. Pioneer food is good. Look, you have to work very hard to make pioneer food. You want some more? I'll just take, I'll take another piece. Did you? Oh. Mm. Well, it's, it's time for bed. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Sweet dreams. I know I'm going to sleep really, really sleep tonight. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I'm tired. Are you? I'm tired. It's just like bacon. Yeah, it's like bacon. That's what bacon used to be. Good morning, Harper. How are you? Oh, there's Alamo. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. You know, it was, it was very kind of you to uh, allow us to stay here last night. I hope you enjoyed it. It was wonderful. Uh, we plan to be heading down over to the river and do some fishing. All right. So, um, thanks again. We'll clean everything up just the way it was. Peas, 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 eating goober peas.
cheese. Goodness, how delicious eating goober peas. 